Welcome to episode 93 of the Pop Culture Unboxing. And today we have Look Anime from April 2017. April 2017 box, the theme of humanity with uh, items from uh, Attack on Titan, Black Lagoon, and School Live. This, I, I think you're probably wondering, why is this here before I look, you look right? Because my look rate is, I have no idea at this moment. I honestly do not know where my look rate is. Um, there was a delay in the shipping according to look rate itself. Um, don't know why it's still isn't supposed to ship on Friday. has not said. So I'm still waiting here back on them. Uh, so. First time we have is a Attack and Titan minifigure. This actually reminds me sort of, um, what, 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 what they, what they can, um, reminds me of, uh, I don't know what I think, I'm, I'm trying to think of what it reminds me of. Oh, these figures, these figures remind me, of, um, oh, they remind me of the Amiibos, because I was, I had to do the Amiibos on, um, Mark, I eat the lux. I gotta get the inkling and the uh, one I have this weekend. Probably one. Right, it's sort of in the base in the stand. Um, I say Mebos because um, just the way it looks. Uh, obviously, having uh, gone through all that. Um, Having uh, having re put all of the uh, me alpha data back into into Marka Eat Marka Eat Deluxe. If they if they finally came in money, that was ridiculous. That was another thing. That was a fucking asshole. Sorry. <laughs> and not to curse so much, but. And you get angry because of stupid people doing stupid things and laying stupid, stupid reasons. And you know, we knew, and we should know, and we we had to wait. And we didn't know. Ugh. That's what, what the freaking thing go? What, what is this? It's on the pack. Ugh. Things don't come out. Oh, and it's freaking blocked. <laughs> She's how many freaking... Why is it going to block people from oh, getting things out of the, the plastic? Eesh. I was worried about people stealing it, but that's freaking overkill. That sort of reminds me of, uh, me pose, like, um, Blue Falcon, who are more like, not very, not stationary because of, or in, uh, pins. Here's the figure. Very nice. Good way to start. That's this tin. It's a little like machine box. Um, box. It's the black lagoon item, it seems like. It has a levy on it. What's inside? Ooh, coasters. You can always use those. Never have enough of those. Never gonna have enough of those. <laughs> Um, oh, I don't remember any. It's, it's Rock. Um, or his name, Ave Levy. And I forget his name. <laughs> Earl names. I probably screw up everyone's name anyway. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, 
my thing to put things in. Two. Uh, next is another attack and pain item. Oh, like a pouch. Again. Yeah, it's a drum inside. Cool. Never have enough of these. Sure, I'll go through. This is a pencil? It's a pencil. And pen would have been nicer, but cool. I'm ready for these. <laughs> Next, we have the manga for the month. It's Ghoul Live, art by. Sodaro Ch 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 Chiba in uh, Naramatsu Go Koho Look great exclusive. This cover, I'm guessing. I actually watched uh, this uh, show, the anime on uh, Every Network. Um, meet the members of School Life Club. There, there's the sh there, there's the sh shovel loving Kur Kurihimi. Is a is a, is a Rizalaba, big sister for figure Yuri Wakasa Wakasa, club advisor Megumi Sakara, and le last but not least the uh, ever op optimistic Yuki uh, Takiyui. I butchered those names badly. School Living Club is a just your average high school organization where girls hang out and have. Have fun and live at school as a sole survivor of zombie apocalypse. No MBD. I don't know, but I don't think it has anything to do with the zombie apocalypse. Maybe it does. No, it's just a dream. Actually, does evolve it. Wow. It does evolve. I didn't think the. I don't have any anime evolving zombies. Weird. Definitely have to read this. It's interesting. <laughs> Get far of being that way. Okay. But that felt like it's interesting. Um, I should watch it more and watch it better. And the last thing before the poster and the spoiler poster, <laughs> well poster, is the phone harm. Pretty cool, I always like those. Probably should put them on my bag. Put them as a, uh... Is the poster always harder to see because it's so big. Um, but very nice, always very nice. Uh, well, let's go back to uh, review the items. Um, you really, no matter how much will change, no matter the danger and destruction that is rain, there always be always hope. There's always hope. 
We salute those fighting through darkness for the sake of humanity with items. Attack of Titan, Black Lagoon, and School Live. First things first is Black. Uh, oops. Um, first things first is the exclusive Attack on Titan. You just keep thinking your mind which one of those. Sorry. And we'll go back in. It's a notepad, actually. This is a pouch and a notepad with pencil. And it's Attack of Titan 2 for take notes on the go. And take notes on the go in the survey. Corpse, uh, core, uh, style with the exclusive replica, uh, fox leather, uh, pouch, uh, logo branded notebook, and three pencils in the style of, uh, maneuver gear blades. Three of them? Well, that's not one. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Licensed by Funimation, made by Crowd Corp. Cool. Uh, next we have the Attack of Night and the Levy figure. Um, when humanity is attacked by giant, by giant people eating titans, the military forms the Sur Sur Survey Corps Special Ops Squad to protect the now walled city against future devastation. Attack of Titan follows Aaron and his and his childhood friends. Ma uh, Mikase and Armand, who joined the, the Survey Corps, end up under the command of Levy Ackerman. There are no Titans in town, but you can still have this three inch Captain Levy world collectible figure. Guard your death for your death or room. I just find Funimation, but made by Ben Presto Corps Limited. And we have the School Live Manga. Meet Yuki Taika, our friends of Magu Kasa Private High School School Live Club. She's very cheerful, loves her friends, and has no idea that is the sole survivors of a zombie outbreak that's over in the city. Yuki's spirit definitely embodies the many themes, so it was no brain to include the manga. It's just a pull out poster. Licensed by Hobanasha, right by Yen, Yen Press. And we have Scoots of Black Lagoon uh, Coaster Set. Black Lagoon follows the Pirate Mercedes known as Lagoon Club, Lagoon Company, excuse me, as they sail, sail the seas of South Asia, surviving by carrying out the various contracts for pay. Everything changed when Revy kidnapped Sally, Sally Man Rock during a job, freaking she can collect a ransom for him. Of course, it's not that simple. I represent DLC with the coaster staff featuring the crew that it comes in a stylish metal ammo case. Life is by Black Lagoon, made by Jack Nil Inc. Last thing is the exclusive Yumi Humanity Charm. Armed the ready, Yumi is hard to he is here to fight and protect civilization and save humanity. Awesome. Definitely one of the. I always like when they have Mong in there. Um, Hung in there. That's a good box, I mean, I gotta say. Um, I mean, some of the notepad. Why are we, we gotta use the notepad? It's always useful. You can use it for stuff. Um, like, trust me, it, there's always stuff to use. Use especially if you're like a YouTuber, unboxing stuff. I, I see people like, I can't keep track of this stuff. I can't get you for all the boxes I have. Well, here's something that'll help you. This is good stuff. I mean, this, you know, I mean, it's up to you want to use it, but I mean, it's to me, I think, a good way to, to um, keep track of stuff like that. You know, but to me, that's why I deal with them. 
Alright, here's the downtown area you wanted to keep track of my boxes. I got a uh, toy ink this last year. So a toy ink box I got uh, from the East Coast Com uh, East Coast Comic Con. So yeah. <laughs> I never watched that on there before you said um you know journal dove pad, whatever you want to call it. You know. Here is the outside of the box. Not much to say. It's a um, it looks like a room building. It's cool. I mean, not much to it. I mean, but yeah, it's a good box. I have to say, um, I feel like the bongo, the coaster is always cool. Um, again, I can't complain about the you know journal. Um, you know, because <laughs> it, that's that's handy, especially in this, especially in this, uh, <laughs> especially in the unboxing business. But we're not done. There it comes. Do bonus stuff. Um, we are done with um, boxing video. Some bonus stuff. First things first. One DVD I saw. I realized I didn't have this, and uh, I'm ashamed of myself. I didn't have this. Now I do. Um, it's that tells the movie the lost trout was. Uh, DuckTales, the movie The Treasure of the Lost Lamp. A treasure for the whole family. Bring home the adventures of Scrooge Mc... Adventures of a Lifetime is Uncle Scrooge and a, a, and a comical cast of characters starring the DuckTales, the movie The Treasure of the Lost Lamp. Huey, Dewey, and Louie and Webigail Vanderquack accompany their wealthy uncle's Scrooge McDuck, a trip to Egypt in search of the long lost riches of Kali Baba's ancient pyramid. After an epic battle with Marlock, the evil sor sorcerer, over a magic lamp, Scrooge and his companions discover that friendship and family are more valuable than most fantastic treasures. And all the treasures don't hurt either. <laughs> you also got DVD bonus extras, including fighting Scrooge McDuck's treasure game. That's it, I'm extra. Um, I saw this come out, I've seen this was in previous. I had to get this. Um, it's the Amanda Connor, uh, Holiday, uh, Holy Quinn. Uh, this is the DC Designer Series. Amanda is, uh, one of the artists who always currently draws the, uh, Holy Quinn series. Also did the awesome uh, Power Girl series. Where she left. That's up I got uh, today. A couple of things I got over the weekend. I did show up on the unboxing on the uh, last episode because I bought them the next day after. Uh, first we have Shadow Star uh, from the X Men uh, Marvel Legends series. Armed with superhuman physical and mental abilities, Shadowstar conquers his enemies with strength and uh, certain certainty. It's from the Warlock series. Um, we also got a series. Um, what one we got for this? But we do have another one for that series. That is Dazzler. And this is our classic 70s disco outfit. Uh, Dazzler is the back. They use the um, the same sort of uh, what do you want to call them? The uh, those uh, hand things. 
That is a converse sound and energy in down the light into energy, preferring the rhythm of music as their primary source of sonic strength. Cool. And I won this because I uh, mean that's the swamp thing, I couldn't get swamp thing over, but I have the money to, but I could I could get this in. We have Max Rebo, Star Wars Pop, Sp Fungo Special is these series. Yeah, I won this in a great game. <laughs> cool. What well, I did, because it, this was... This was not... I have a feeling that could be easy to find. Um, I don't like that character. Maybe because I always like Elvin. Um, I bought a bunch of comics. Um... I had these for a dollar. I said this one was for a dollar, but the rest were for a dollar. And then the bags I bought this one. This is Booster Gold Features End. Cross up. This is from Cross Up. I did buy because I quit DC like right before. Um, I think I was gonna buy it anyway. It's like five years in the future, where um, and it's like uh. And part of it was that, uh, like, uh, Brother Eye was taking over the world. And this was, in a lot of these books were set right before it, and I guess the demise of the heroes, I, I don't know, I never read it. Next we have Teen Titan Spotlight on the Hawk, uh, from Hawk and Dove. The original Hawk, who later became, uh, a villain. Only because they 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 uh they screwed up and uh, accidentally spoiled the ending to um uh, 2001 Armageddon. DC was doing a crossover event called 2001 Armageddon, and it was leaked who was going to be the big villain, the mask, and then it was leaked and they had to change it. It would have been simple either way, but. <laughs> Next we have T Titan Spotlight Jericho. Didn't have this one. Oh, I didn't. I didn't have. Um, that was issue six, issue five. This time he's been pushed too far. Spot T Night Spotlight Jericho. Another T Night. Another character turned into a villain. Uh, Son of Deathstroke. Um, he's actually they brought him back in the New Fifty Two. Here's issue four. This is actually by Marvel from X. I got to meet him this past weekend. I said he signed. I was there. Uh, Showdown Astrid Amsterdam. I realize it's Marvel from then. And uh, issue three tragedy from the past death today. It's also by Ron. Andrew and Dennis Jensen. George Price is going to be there this weekend too, but unfortunately got sick. Um, they say he had a heart attack. I, think, I don't know if they said he was a heart attack, but he, he went to the hospital. Um, had heart surgery. Next we have the Gamma Rooters. Right, I guess being right, Root is, um, by Peter B. Jealous, Martin King, and Dave Cooper. This is issue two from DC Comics, uh, March 1989, when Bioborg's class. Oh, it just looked interesting. Yeah, that was, I was looking for stuff to fill, fill the box. Um, not fill the box, fill, fill for, uh, 20 for, uh, 20, give 20 and get 20 for free. Uh, next, I was looking to try not to buy duplicates. Next, we have Avengers 226, Beware the Evil Eye. With, uh, Captain America, Hawkeye, and the, the Black Knight. On the cover. Next, we have... Avengers 291, Let's Party! Which features Thor, She-Hulk, and, I'm guessing, Namor's wife? Gone crazy with Namor? I think I do, maybe? Oh well. Oh, that was right around the time she went crazy. 
we have also Avengers 290, Day of the Adaptoid. We have all the Avengers, including the Machine Man. Yeah, I think that in Captain Marvel, your Satan, I think Captain America, he's back when he's Captain. He gave up being Captain America because politics. <laughs> I didn't. I, I, oh, oh, that's why. Okay. So it's got two comics in it. I only got it for the back one. I didn't even see the front. But um, I may have cheated them and not even known it. Like, oops. No, look at that. Oh. Rachel E. Man and Michael Bowser. Issue 5 from First Comic Select Series. It looks like we have King Holland climbing out of a building. And somebody about to be shot. <laughs> On the opposite side, we have Morbius and the Living Vampire, number 5. Number 10. Excuse me. The first son of Morbius, and wants his daddy dead. <laughs> okay. Right. We have another Teen Titan Spotlight with Cyborg by Gilius Artis and Artis and Tangle. Oh, I know. Um, also, uh, with the Beast Boy, are still some still a few bugs in the system. Next, we have T Titans Spotlight in issue 19 with Starfire guest starring Harbinger. Uh, this takes place during the Millennium crossover with, uh, by Barbara Randall and Colleen Doran. Next, we have T Titans Spotlight number 17 featuring Magneta. Mag I'm sticking to them, I. It's easy to open it up and see. Magneta, um, by Tony Isabella, Don Heck, and Alve. Issue 17. Oh. Yeah, I'm sure I'm wrong about this. This is Teen Titan Spotlight. Next we have Thunder Teen Titan Spotlight number 16. Uh, with Thunder and Lightning by Isabella Payton and Bay. Oh, my, my characters. Really more than the famous Teen Titans. We have issue uh, number 13 of Teen Titan Spotlight. Which is. Uh, Spotlight on Cyborg, uh, facing the two faces of evil. I'm guessing it's Dave Michael Straczynski, uh, Patton and Tangle. I'm probably pushing those names, definitely. Uh, next we have t Titan Spotlight on Wonder Girl. Uh, this is your 12 Deathstock, those who seek the, the Secret of the Lost Temple. By, by Doug, I'm guessing Doug Mintz. Uh, Cologne and Tangle. The Alan I don't know what's wrong with this. I mean, it's like Barry Deer than I do. We have issue number 11 of the T-Dine Spotlight on the Brotherhood of Evil. Why must these villains become heroes? By Lafrasio, Lafrasio, Orlando, and Patterson. Don't have first names, so I can't say it. I'm a cover. Uh, Teen Titan Spotlight number 10 on Aqualad by John Estrand Estrando, Eric Larson, and R Romeo DeHangle. Eric Larson, I guess, went on to be a. On Star Dragon, the Hulk, good doing other things. Next, you have Teen Titan Spotlight on Changeling, aka Beast Boy. Terrifying Do 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 Doomsday's. Doom Patrol's past, featuring uh, the Doom Patrol. That's his 
hands on this boy. Extra, if you don't spotlight on the hog, it's just you'll eat somebody with a flame bower. <laughs> and somebody with a flame bower. Next, we have the Spectre, number 28, Ghost of the Machine, part 5 of 6, uh, by by Mench, Artist, and Gula. I bought a bunch of these ghosts compared to uh, Spectre. Uh, if Spectre number 23 by my Mench and uh, Wozniak. Vazen First Strike Extra. This is about DC crossover in the ladies. Because if it worked once, why not keep pushing it down people's th throats? The Spectre number 20 features Mench, uh, uh, Wozniak and Badger featuring, it looks like the Spectre's choking out his own human host? Uh, what? Okay. And we have the Spectre number 17 by Mench, Wozniak, and Vulgarin. Looks like the Spectre is coming out of Coke. <laughs> the drug of some kind. Um, next we have. Um, no, oops. all right, still enough in the last one. Next we have Spe Spec Spectre number f issue 15, but, um, what was her name? Um, that's a town, uh, um, Bam Z Zondo, and, uh, the Spectre, uh, on the cover by Mench and Morrow. Yeah, no, I don't know the series for a while, too. In America, it was pretty good. It didn't last long, apparently. Then we have... Assassinate... The... Mind Spirit by Pocket Teen Comics. This is, this is, this is again, this is a filler. Um... This is just a filler. It looks stupid. I was like, you know what? This, I need something to fill in... For for 20 for 40 comics for 20 bucks so really filler <laughs> well <laughs> I got more than 20 comics more than 21 comics <laughs> I'll show this in a second, but this is funny. I just I see in the back cover the kit the fiftieth anniversary gift of America just makes me sad that I'm a sixties what's it um seventy sixth anniversary that uh, almost uh, this year is uh Cash being treated so it looks like shit. Um, we have X Men and no, X Men. I guess the Uncanny X Men number two forty two. Giant Size Spectacular. Uh, this is uh, from the Inferno crossover. Finally, because you demand the original X Factor, original is our back X Factor. Um, X the original X Men have become uh, part of X Factor at the time. And we have on the back X Men number one. I have like twenty copies of this. Oh yeah, I didn't even see it on the back. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. Next we have... I got this because... This is really more of a fill. This is more of like... I have this toy. I still have this toy. I had this toy as a kid. I still have it. I, I don't even remember what the hell it was called until I saw this. So that's what it was called. Power Lord. We have Power Lord's number two. They didn't seem to have the rest of them. This is two or three. This is a mini series. Um, compared to witness the death of Adam Power. Now, if I can help it, this is the character main character's name. After the mention of Doom, I still had that figure. Power. It, I guess there's something DC in the license for comic books. But it's like you know those toys back in the '80s. You see a lot of like Transformers and Air Raid and. Thundercats and He-Man and stuff like that. Next we have 
Captain Adam number 14 guest starring Nightshade by Bates, Wiseman, Brod Broderick, and Smith. I think that was again. I was like, I didn't have that. I, I didn't think I had this issue, so I was like, you know, I had to put that other thing. And then we have Lethal Strike number zero, collector's edition, by London Knight. Um, I have no idea what this is. Again, there's a fuller. This is a fuller. This is a fellow to fill. Hold up. Next we have T-Tight Spotlight on Starfire. Or Wolfman Cohen and Giordano. Epithetic No More. Conclusion. This is issue two. T-Tight Spotlight. Um, I have a couple out of bag ones. First we have Star Trek. Number 20. Well God Man by Weinstein, Weinstein, Parcel, and Star. This is DC, the original Star Trek series. Um, but the original Star Trek crew, I mean. Saga of the Crystal, Chris Star, Crystal Warrior. This again was toy and license, I think. Everyone always trying to create one of those. But I guess one of those is a toy. Nightcrawler on the cover for some random reason. Is you know, let's put in a random X-Men popular X-Men on there so we can sell, sell it. <laughs> we have Star Trek 1995 Special Unforgiven by Friedman, Irwin, and Palomito. Pal 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 That's, oh, I think it, um, it might be one of the early works of uh, Jim Palomino. Again, Amanda Connors is a very famous writer. Echoes of Yesterday, Altman say by Ultimate Save and Boyd. <laughs> Another um, really filler from Eternity Comics, Shiana, Cat Studios. And again, when I was putting stuff in like this, I was like, you know, I'll just. It's stupid for a dollar, but again, filler. Um, if not a Spectre from issue 10. Millennium Week 4 by Mench and Morrow. The Spectre, I'm going to throw a tree. A couple more here, don't worry. <laughs> um. Oop! <laughs> that was Spectre. The last couple of Spectres. Um. Oop! <laughs> Ag! Let's stay up. First, we have the Spectre issue thirty one. It's it's like people passing from heaven between heaven and hell. You're going up or going down. Man, there's one freaking freaky cover by Mitch and Mayo, covered by Bodrick and Pearson. Next, we have Spectre issue 13 by Mench and Morrow. A bunch of bats. Issue 14 by Mench and Morrow. The Spectre standing on a bunch of skulls. And then we have the Spectre issue 11 uh, during another millennial issue. Week 8 by Mench and Morrow with the. Is it the not feature of the Spectre? Spectre on, on the cover, but features Dead Man, Dr. Fate, Madam uh, Zando, Zatanna, um, I forget who else that's, uh, the Phantom Stranger, and uh, Tantris, among other characters. <laughs> more like, uh, more, uh, magically inclined characters. Yeah, good, uh, good, old, good, old, um, good stuff. I like the fly. I like the bloody animated one. Um, that yeah, was <laughs> really, a, really about this to really fill in a lot of uh, like get um for my uh, back issue 
to read and to every week so I was running out of new one I was running out of them so I didn't like duplicates I was looking to do that I was getting mostly new stuff and so I tried to do I tried to remember covers I, I know I remember having um so I went based on that um that's all I could do. I have so many comics to the point. It's like trying to remember which one they have and something don't they have. And based on what they are having. Based on what <laughs> based on what based on what I think the cover about the cover. Um but yeah. Good stuff. Um next uh boxing will be hopefully whenever Luke Ray shows up. Also, I have coming in May, Luke Ware returns after a month off. Um, collect this case. We're trying that. Um, also, be doing uh, also have comic of the month coming. Um, uh, the Wonder Woman box from uh, DC Collectors Core. Going to Galaxy uh, Volume 2 from uh, Marvel Collectors Core. Because I are the box. Um, or that one. So, or that online. Yeah. Because Bobos, Mega Bobos, uh, Load Anime uh, will be, for me, is uh, the theme is Unnatural with Death Note, Parasite, Mad Psycho 1000, and uh, Nargumi. Nargumi? Nargumi? I don't know what to say. But so, yeah. Till next time, have a good one, everyone. Peace!